morning guys uh it started day three got the trunk open just gonna go over a few things pop the hood check the oil check the trans um and just keep trucking along today we got about two and a half hours uh haven't had a bunch of ideas of what to do in between um, and hopefully today we can actually enjoy the day get lunch um, and not be rushed for time like we were yesterday uh, like I said day three better go enjoy it good Alright guys, so when we left um, Hoover, Alabama, we went right to Pensacola. Reason being, I wanted a good night in Pensacola and the heat and everything, get by the beach. So here is night three going into day four. What's up guys, Paul, Paul Spurs Garage. So we are in Atlanta. Hot Rod Power Tour Day 5. Uh, we came here on Day 4. We just kind of drove over here. This heat has been absolutely ridiculous. Plus, we uh, have a 16-hour ride home from here. So, I wanted to make sure we could make it here whatnot. And we did. So, we officially have done Hot Rod Power Tour 2022. We're going to go pick up our credentials right now. Uh, Super pumped, guys. Oh, I have this the wrong way. I'm not deleting that, so it's going to change in the video, guys. It's probably going to be long ways, whatever. So, just going over some final checks. Uh, I'm going to pop the trunk here, check all the lug nuts, 
check oil, transmission fluid. We took a corner yesterday and it kind of slipped gear. Uh, it's a brand new transmission, so I'm wondering if maybe my dipstick popped out a little bit. There's not been any drops underneath the car anywhere. So I'm going to take a look at that. Double, like I said, double check lug nuts and everything like that. So just kind of going about on it. We do have some damages. We got some uh, rigged up coil packs right now because I thought our issue was a coil pack. Our issue ended up being right now so you guys can see this I'm not afraid to show our my ingenuity at all so this side's not horrible guys I got one bolt on each of them on top wires are far enough off headers that they're not getting hot or burning up at all um, the real cool ones are on this side where I didn't have enough long ones and they are actually zip tied again not close enough to burn anything but they are zip tied top and bottom gotta do what you gotta do only one i didn't change was the last one because my wire is not long enough um, i cut these to the truck injector or to the coil packs that came on this these are a little newer ones uh, my uncle gave them to me so so I had to stop the video there a little bit. Had a guy come over to look at the car. Um, pretty impressed. Uh, I gotta say, the people, uh, the help, the support everywhere for this old tour, and it, it is it is awesome. There was a lot of things um, people are complaining about this year with lines and heat. If you're a car person, people, it's it's an adventure. You know, it's it's not about <clears throat> the heat or anything. It's, look what I did. I did it. And there's a lot of people here in new cars. Um, there's a lot of people here in cars that they didn't build. They just bought and drove. Um, but for somebody like me and probably the people that watch my channel, which is not many, um, we take pride in what we do. And it's kind of a, hey, look at it. I did it. And I look at it this way. If you would ask me Saturday night before leaving for this on Mon or on Sunday, I would have said I'm probably not going to make it. Um, I literally forked out three grand for a brand new transmission on th what was that? That would have been the Monday beforehand. I was having heating issues with the transmission, overheating until Friday. I ordered a converter on Friday, had it overnighted threw it in the car Saturday night after working 12 hours got out at 1 a.m. drove down the road didn't overheat threw her in the driveway left with my dad at 9 a.m. and we had issue with the heating and it uh, I luckily brought a different cooler uh, cut my fan wires ran my fan to the front and we've been doing all right um, it's gotten 160 170 a couple times but I gotta say it's been a blast the heat sucks but seeing all these people with their pride and joys there's nothing like it um, and I have plenty of stuff to take out of this trip too I got a rear quarter that my tire was a little tall for um, loaded down with the weight and everything and we've been kind of bouncing off the, off the tire a little bit here I popped a fender and well, I found out where mud is on my car, so it is whatever. So, otherwise, I've had a little bit of brake fade. This is a brand new brake setup. Um, I struggled. I didn't get a lot of video on it, guys, but I struggled with the brakes on this thing for two, three weeks. Ended up changing the S10 calipers on the rear because the other ones weren't working. Um, this is a brand new kit, no miles on it. <clears throat> and now I'm starting to have brake fade again. I don't see any leaks, but when I get home, I'm gonna put it up in the air and work on it. Uh, so it's all risks. It's all there's all risks. There's all rewards. We might not make it home with it, and that's something I have to be conscientious of. I might have to run a U-Haul, rent a truck, and a car hauler. But that's what we do. That's something you gotta look for. 
uh, we're gonna try to get eight hours in after Atlanta Motor Speedway here and get halfway home and let her cool down for the night and head back out at 6 a.m. but we'll see uh, if this is something on your bucket list guys go out and do it um, even if you break down there's gonna be people on the side of the road with you helping you uh, we've stopped for two or three different people and drove by a few because they had already had a group of people around them um, but everybody is willing to help and make you make it uh, there's a Facebook group hot red power tour they there's guys on there that aren't even on the tour that are offering their garages uh, their shops their trailers it's a community you want to be around uh, it's not a cheap community let me get you five dollars a gallon at 15 miles a gallon yeah I've spent money on gas uh, but this is a bucket list and sometimes you gotta you gotta go out and do what you want on your bucket list so there she is she's running she's driving we're gonna make it home and then it's a full tear down again to make sure everything's good so I'm gonna enjoy a couple drives with the kids before I do that again but <clears throat> I think the wheel bearings are gonna need some packing uh, the rear end ain't the happiest and I'm not getting boost for some reason. I'm only hitting about two pounds of boost, so nothing I want to deal with on the trip, nothing I want to mess with. I mean, I broke my exhaust over here. I'll show you this. I stopped at a guy's shop, an exhaust shop in Tennessee somewhere. The guy welded up my exhaust because it broke. Then my clamp broke. The bolt on my clamp here broke. He tried welding that a couple times. It didn't work. I was ready to call it. Yeah, he kind of walked off, called his buddy, and his buddy had an 3.75 guys 3.75 exhaust clamp didn't charge me a dollar for it and he delivered it it's a community of hot rodders um, and there's great people out in these small towns uh, this this well job he charged me 20 bucks 20 bucks I tipped him 20 because I, I, I just couldn't I couldn't 20 dollars nothing in where I'm from, that would have been a $200 job and probably, oh, I have to wait a day. So, if you ever get the opportunity to have this come through your area, um, definitely just throw a hand out there, guys. Uh, waters, just sit there and wave, offer support. If you're mechanically inclined, just, you know, and you love this stuff, enjoy it with them. Because, like, for me, it was a bucket list thing. And... I've been thinking about this 15 years probably now. This car has probably had 500 miles on it in 15 years. So it's now going to have 3,000 when we get home. And it was a pretty cool opportunity to be there and do it with my dad also. Um, next year, my daughter wants to go. So I'm going again, but I'm addicted now. So. All right, guys, I'm going to slow her down here. Uh, I really got to get moving on, checking everything here, and getting headed over to the Speedway because, like I said, we want to get our credentials. Say we did it. We're a long hauler gang. We didn't do it the 100% correct way, but we did it. <clears throat> so thanks for following her along guys i'm probably gonna throw this at the end of the clip uh i've uploaded i believe it was one day one and day two and i haven't since um i'm gonna have three four and five all together guys like i said we kind of jumped ahead a little bit it's been so hot i've been haven't been able to look at anything it's guys it's hot it's hard um but i'm definitely going to continue this content um and hope you guys follow along with it i have a couple plans after going on this trip uh, I'm going to all the rear gear for sure and either the turbo 400 is getting pulled and it's 4L80 or I'm getting a gear vendors um, and then it's also getting a vintage air kit so this is all stuff that's gonna happen over time um, I'm not made of money and I spend a lot of money on this trip so and getting this car ready for this trip so I got to catch up there first um, but the rear gear is definitely going to change pretty quick because I have the wrong rear gear at home and I'm going to sell that and buy the, buy the right rear gear. 
all right guys well i appreciate you viewing tuning in whatever um and i'll try to give you the best content i can moving forward thanks guys parking lot's already half full a lot of people must have made the tour last What's up guys? Saturday morning about 10 a.m. Um, pulled in the driveway about 5.15 this morning. She did it. Um, we drove from Atlanta. We left like right after we got her plaque. It was miserably hot. I would have loved to stay and done a little bit more, but sometimes it's you gotta get on the road. And we were gonna stay in a hotel, but I drove till I wasn't tired, or until I was tired, and well, here we are. Um, so this is kind of like an aftermath thing. Basically what happened, what we got. Um, so we basically got two plaques, long haul tour, uh, pretty cool metal. So I can hang them in, in my shop. And then we also got these right here, long haul gang. So we did it. Had some other stuff, um, ended up zip tying some coil packs on. We have some clunking in the rear, uh, clicking in the front. Bottomed it out a couple times. Actually, I put bigger tires on to try to get a better um, mile per hour and everything. And we actually took off some, some uh, mud and metal. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> and there's, can't really see it all that great. Maybe we can here. One for sure right here. One right here and one right here. A dents in the hood from somebody sitting on it. I got wire zip tied up front. I have, oh. It looks like an oil leak now. Uh, I hit something on the road. Don't know what it was. Threw off the steering for a little while. It ended up being okay. But <coughs> after further, it actually bent the rim a tad, tad bit. Um, but what's that? It did nothing. So I made it home. We made it home. That's all I, I can be happy for and thankful for and this was something I really wanted to do and we got it done so the car needs a little loving now it was rough on her um, but it did it and I can't say anything else besides that so I'm more than happy with it I'm going to be putting AC on this car this summer or winter whatever it comes down to um, and probably a 4L80. Uh, that fourth gear would have been amazing that whole trip. So, vintage air, here we come. And also, probably a Gear Star 4L80, I'm guessing. I don't know. Maybe a junk air 4L80 with a converter. For now, as I just spent three grand on a Hughes TH400, which can go in my Drake car, but. Well, I just wanted an update. Put something out there throw it out there we are home it made it thanks to my dad um, spending his birthday out on the road with me that was a great time uh, you know how dads and kids are though we bickered a little bit and we made it through it was fun um, outside of the excruciating heat it was like 114 the first day in memphis 
and over 100 uh, a few other days. And I didn't have any overheating issues, not one. Actually driving home last night, as soon as we hit mid-Indiana, a little bit after Indianapolis, my car didn't go over 165 degrees. Um, and my trans was running at like 120. So I might actually have to do something to kind of get that up in the to warm up. <laughs> but we got some work to do on it. Um, tightening, double checking, going over a few things, figuring out clicking, clocking, pumping, oil leaking. No idea where that's coming from. Don't even know if that's fresh. But we'll get it up in the jack stands and probably leave it alone this week. And next week really start putting some time into it um, again and get it get it back to uh, its functioning state. Um, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for liking, subscribing. Uh, I, I know I didn't have the best content for the power tour, but I will continuously work on that and get better. It was great meeting some YouTube personalities. Um, actually stopped on the side of the road and ran into Spider's Garage, who was having problems on the tour. Uh, ran into Derek from Vice Grip Garage on uh, Beale Street in Memphis. Also seen him on the road and drove with him for a while. Little guy, kids are happy to see me. So, um, yeah, it was great seeing people. Way. I'm making a video, dude. Yeah, yep, so I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna play with the kids for a little while, get my stuff inside. Uh, like I said, thanks for liking and subscribing. Say bye, dude. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys.